Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Life with Shelly. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, welcome back. Today's video, I will be explaining or just talking about um, a day in my life video for today. And just saying and different talk about different things and stuff that's going on in my life. Um... Not very much. I'm kind of like going through stuff that, um, that I'll be packing. Oh, a good video I want to make is next. I want to make um, a video, like a, like a suitcase packing video, like so you guys can kind of know what I'm packing to go to California and stuff. I'm not really completely done. I'm still going through some things, trying to repack everything tried to make everything fit in my suitcase because my other suitcase I can't bring like I want to bring that one but for some reason the thing that I don't know what it's called like a stick thing the stick thing that you pull and you pull with your it's like a stick thing that you pull your suitcase along that is stuck on my bigger suitcase so I have to use a medium sized suitcase to use that one because that the stick thing to the suitcase that I pulls my suitcase the medium sized suitcase is working. The larger one that I used last time, for some reason, it just didn't work. So I had to pull it by, like, the handle. <sighs> so, I'm also trying to grow up my eyebrows that I totally, completely regret on doing when I was in high school. I was 18, dumb, in high school, a lot of drama, doing things, trying to fit in and everything else, like doing my eyebrows, and I think I plucked too many, like too much, too many, whatever, and I plucked too many eyebrows and now they look like this. I really don't like them, so now I'm trying to regrow them out. I don't tweeze them anymore, I leave them alone, thank goodness. Um, I wish I never, I regretted doing that in high school, like getting a tweezer and over plucking them because I wanted them to look good, but I think I over plucked them. Um, so that's something that I wish I never did in high school. Like I over plucked my eyebrows. I wish I never did that. Um, now I'm trying to regrow them. Um, I'm trying to find some different products to use on my eyebrows to make them grow full, like fuller again. I mean, they're going good, but I want them to be more fuller. Um, so yeah, I've been leaving my eyebrows alone. And I'm reorganizing things, cleaning the suitcase out today or tonight or whatever. Going through different things, putting stuff away. Um, I'm going to do is take a shower. I wanted to take a shower tonight, but then I figured, nah, I'll just do one tomorrow instead. Um, so, because I got some things I need to do tonight, but I'm going to take a shower when I wake up tomorrow morning. Um, probably after my YouTube video, I want to make some TikTok videos. Since I haven't been doing TikTok videos in a while, so that will be something different to do. And, um, so yeah, I want to do something, like, different, like, maybe eventually once I get more settled in with, like, packing my suitcase a little bit better and reorganizing it, I'm thinking about making another, um thinking about making a suitcase video like pack with me like packing like a packing suitcase video so you guys can see what I'm packing for California next month um, I know it's a little too soon probably to be packing but I really don't care because I like to pack stuff kind of ahead and in advance because so then I can kind of restart packing so then I want to know or what to leave at home, or what to bring, or whatever. Um, and then this month is, I don't know how many, so months, but, or so many days, I mean, 
this month of January 30th is my 37th birthday, so I turned 37. Um, I may not look like it, but I am. I'm 36 right now. I'll be turning 37 on January 30th. And then also my fiancé and I, our three-year engagement anniversary is January 30th, which is on my birthday as well. So we're celebrating two huge celebrations this month. And then next month is my fiancé and I, our wedding, February 24th, 2024 is our wedding. So we're getting ready for that too. Um, so yeah. Not a lot here, but it is a lot of planning. <sighs> and I'm a little bit tired because I don't know if I sleep good or what, but I had a really bad dream last night. It was from a domestic violence relationship that I had in 2014. I think it's called PSTD, I think. PSTD. I think that's what it's called. Like when you have like, when you go through something very dr dramatic in your life and then you kind of dream about it, that's what I dreamt about last night. Um, I dreamt about, in 2014, I was in a domestic violence relationship and um, sometimes I have really bad dreams of the guy that I had a domestic violence relationship with and he's the baby's father that I had a baby with and... I had my son up for open adoption because it was my choice. It was my body, my choice. So I had him, I gave him, I gave birth to him, and then I gave him up for open adoption because I thought, well, he needed a good, I wanted to him have a good life and a mom and a dad to love him and take care of him because um, I wasn't ready to have a baby back in 2014, which I was 27. And I gave him up for open adoption because I didn't have money or apartment or things to support him. I didn't have money. I didn't have a job. I didn't have my own apartment. So the best thing was to give him up, which I still stay in touch with the adoption parents and stuff. I get pictures of him and videos and I get to send him birthday presents, Christmas presents and all of that. And um, so, yeah, it's been nice. And, um, so I can stay in touch with the parents and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's been a little struggle, but I'm doing okay. Um, I'm hoping that eventually, um, I can actually get, like, to do more YouTube videos. I know that I haven't really lately because... I don't know, sometimes I get too tired to do it, or I don't know what YouTube video I should make, or I don't know. I don't have very many subscribers as I did. Um, I'm hoping that eventually that can change. I'm hoping that I can actually eventually feel much better about myself and um, eat more healthier and hopefully... Um, I was thinking about maybe eventually kind of maybe I don't know like try to figure out some days that I feel better or feel good about myself and actually do videos every day but then sometimes I feel like I don't want to because I'm so tired and it's a struggle dealing with severe anxiety as well every day I'm tired every day um, sometimes I have trouble sleeping so, and also sometimes my YouTube videos are not that long anymore because I try to make really fast videos, trying to make them short sometimes because my cell phone does not, is not very large, like the storage, I guess, and I'm trying to delete some apps, try to figure out certain things that can help. Um, so yeah, I want to keep making YouTube videos every day, but... Sometimes I just don't know what videos to make and it's a struggle with that because I don't know if I should do a doing my makeup video, ASMR videos, cat videos because I have two cats, um, Callie is a calico, Simba is an orange tabby cat, so I'm not sure if I should do that. 
um, do some remakes on my videos, um, talk about maybe my severe anxiety and how to deal with that, which uh, if you do have severe anxiety like me, I would say write in your journal, talk to a therapist, take anxiety medicine, um, do things that make you happy. I wish I saw like a really good video I wanted to. I wish I knew how to crochet, but I don't. Um, I saw someone on TikTok, they made like a stitch crochet of stitch and then they crocheted a little turtle. I'm like, how do you, how do you guys do this? I mean, I really wish I knew how to crochet. Um, maybe I might look for some YouTube videos of how to do it. Maybe I might start crocheting. That'd be interesting to do because I never tried it and it looked really awesome. But it takes a lot of practice and I bet I could do it. It just takes a lot of practice. Even... Even my grandma, when she was around, she told me that I could do piano lessons because I because she told me when she looked at my fingers that they are very long, where I could do I could take piano lessons. I should have. I don't know why I didn't, but maybe I wasn't that interested or what. But now that I look at it, I should have. Could I think that'd be something fun to do too. Um. I don't know. I feel like sometimes my anxiety holds me back on things that I want to do and I don't do them or whatever because I feel like my anxiety just holds me back. I know it shouldn't, but I have issues of doing that. Like, or if I say I want to hang out with somebody, like one of my friends, I don't because then my anxiety holds me back because I'm like, why do I need to do that? Or, or I want to do this, but then I get nervous and I don't want, and then I don't want to go or I don't want to do that. And I just don't do it. Like if I want to go shopping, sometimes shopping gives me anxiety because of a whole bunch of people in a crowd and, and going there and stuff like that. And then I shouldn't feel that way. But then sometimes I do. Or if I want to do like exercising or go out running, I want to do it. But then I feel like I can't because my anxiety is holding me back. I get too nervous to do it or something like that. <sighs> And I don't know, I just wish I could work on that too. Not having my anxiety hold me back on doing things that I want to do. It's nerve-wracking and it's annoying. But sometimes that's what my anxiety does to me. It makes me really, really tired and I feel like a zombie where I don't want to do anything. And then even with anxiety, it holds me back on doing things that I want to do. And then I don't do them because... I'm afraid that something bad might happen if I do it or or whatever and I shouldn't feel that way like if I want to go for with one of my friends to get coffee or something um, then I feel like this was when I was living with my parents one of my friends wanted to go out to get a coffee or something and I wanted to and I told her yes but then all of a sudden later on I changed my mind and I told her no I can't and I never went because I was too afraid or just really nervous that I couldn't go. And that's what I meant by my anxiety holds me back. And that's what anxiety does to you sometimes. They hold you back on doing things that you want to do and you can't do them because you're anxiety. It's just, it's annoying. And I, I hate how my anxiety makes me feel sometimes. It makes me really, really tired and it's just annoying. So thanks guys for watching my videos and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye.